That's fine. Ha! <sighs> how was your day? In fact, how, how is your, uh, the last decade I've been going? If you've been, you, yeah, you should be in live at all because YouTube has allowed anyone under 13 to watch these videos. Camera's in a new position because I had to move my switch tripod thing into a new position because I got a new chair. Actually, let's do a look at that. There we go. Oh, that's better. So, yeah, um... How is it been going? I probably should explain why I haven't uploaded videos in a while what th and how things been going. Um... Both good and not good. Each year. Like, my computer's been having non-stop issues thanks to Windows updates. Hurricane came and made my air conditioner spit out death. So I've been trying to get rid of that smell, hence why everything's so out of order right now. Uh, death is a really hard smell to get rid of. So how was your, uh, how was your Helen? How was your hurricane Helen? It wasn't anything for us. Just really, really strong, not even really, really, really strong winds for Jacksonville anyway. 60 mile per hour, not too bad, but um, still shook the entire house, made it creak, and caused that door to try to bust its, try to bust out of it. Also overspun my air conditioner. Undersp overspun and underspun it. So yeah. And um, my well, yeah, it was fine. I think most of I think most of Florida has been fine. But uh, the rest of the South is not fine. Very, very not fine. Uh, I hope. Which is the funny thing? Everyone was worried, so worried about Florida that they forgot about the entire rest of the country. Like, where is that sympathy? Where is that sympathy? For the, where is that sympathy and thought process? The vast majority of the time in Florida is doing everything so good. Like, seriously. Which goes to like the base of this video. I have no idea what I'm gonna be called. I have no idea why I'm gonna be timing this video. Because this is A gonna be a long one and B it's gonna be Just what I've been feeling lately. And um Just what I've been feeling lately and just letting you know that things are coming and if you kinda of already guess, you should you should be prepared for it. Not prepper prepared, Florida for a hurricane prepared, as was demonstrated during Hurricane Helen, when we were prepared and the rest of the South was not. Which yeah. I've been watching recently some prepper videos and some militia Minutemen videos and stuff like that. As well as Superman videos, cause they interest me as an author. But the more I watch them, and the more I read their comments and just see their comments, the more I feel that America is going to have to fight World War Three with with a so with an insurrection inside of it. Something which people fear during World War Two and World War One. But never came to pass. But I think, uh, I know this time it's a very, very big possibility. There are a lot of people in this country, possibly millions, that want to get rid of the pill. That want to get rid of the government. 
and instill an arctic democracy instead of liberal democracy like the founding fathers intended and what's in the constitution which the U.S. government upholds which they hate and view as corrupt and literally takes the sides of countries which are actually corrupt yes America has corruption but it's nominal would, um, would America be better without its corruption? Yes, but like, what more are you going to do? We're free. Like, taxes of evil, as people have taken to call it, which is the secretive, secretive alliance of Russia, uh, 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 China, Iran, and all the terrorists in the world, at least. But uh, from what I can tell, it's literally just them. I mean, all the terrorists, but still. And. They are all extremely corrupt countries, to the point of, like, mustache-twirling, evildoer corruption. They make the, they make the Nazis look like... They make the, they make the uh, Nazis look efficient in, in their corruption. And, yeah. So I wouldn't really worry about World War III from that perspective, which Russia and China have been probing or have been probing uh, Alaska for, I have been teasing Alaska with a bunch of targets for F-22s for F-22s and f 15 xs to murder. Uh, almost as if they want to bomb America into submission by going from strictly Alaska and I would hope that they would be smart enough to go rock, or go over Arctic Circle. As well as I believe that because the insurrectionists in this country are so cowardly and so backwards in their thinking and so absorbed with themselves and so living in their own little universe that they believe that they that when China comes when the evil, when access of evil comes to bomb America into submission, they want to, they, I foresee them being extremely hypocritical and wanting to take down our liberal democracy and replace it with their anarchic democracy at the same time and say, oh, it was all Biden slash Trump's fault. And I'm like, oh, you people, you're so stupid. How do you have brains? I see no sign of brain activity in your head. And then that's the thing. Like, there are so many insurrectionists in this country for absolutely no good reason. America is the hegemon. America is by far the most successful country in history. Great, great or not, perfect or not, it is the most successful country in history. We have the most, we have the most, we have the most ability to predict power of anyone. We can project power anywhere in the solar system if we wanted to. If for whatever reason we wanted to put Abrams on Mars, we would put Abrams on Mars. It's not that hard for us. Maybe Russia could put T-80s that have any left on Mars. But, uh, or T-90s that have any left on Mars. But, uh, I have a feeling they can't do that. I... Don't think China could, China could even get close to putting a whatever knockoff tank they had this week on, on the moon. But America could put the entire military on Mars if it needed to, overnight. It has the money to do that. It has the money, it has the science, it has everything to do that. I mean, the travel time is going to be the hard part, but that's always the hard part. If America wanted to base on Mars because reasons, it what have it. And yet, these insurrectionists, these un-American insurrectionists, think they can take down America with just their LARP gear. With a cosplay. And I'm like, yes, if one, one comment said, one of these thousands of comments I've seen, of these insurrectionists I've seen, said, if there were if there were a million enough in every state, we would win. No, it would be just a bloodbath in every state. 
Like, what? Are you crazy? I mean, yes, I don't. Yeah, I mean, yes, I don't agree with Biden saying the Second Amendment's obsolete because you don't because it does because we don't sell a fifteenth to you. That's not my point. My point is the government's just. So why are you wanting to overthrow it? They never explain the reasoning or rationale. They just say, "Oh, we hate the government. We want to kill it and replace it with our an accord democracy." And I'm like, "What?" Why? What, what has it done to you? <laughs> I, I understand you want to be left alone. But, like, what? You want to kill the government because you want to be left alone. What kind of stupid logic is it? The Nazis want to be left alone, but we killed them, and that was fine. In fact, they, most of them agree. But, oh, no, the government, the government having a post office in your neighborhood, it's the most terrible thing ever. You having a mailbox actually works. Oh, my word. How, how is this? A, this is a breach of your liberty. This is a breach of your anarchy. Like, I honestly cannot believe how in 2024, with almost 10 billion people alive, there are people... Who believe that they, who believe in banditry, anarchy, unsociety, living attacking cities, attacking old cities because they can barbarism, evil, whatever you want to call it, chaos, whatever you want to call it, they are that. They were born and raised in society in a civilization, and they want to end it because they're bandits. That is not okay. Now I know that the vast majority of you watching this know that. But there are a lot of people out there, a scary amount of people out there that don't. Like for a couple of the videos I've seen and read the comment sections, around 90% of them were that way. That's literally hundred. That's literally thousands of people, and dozens of channels, with millions, of, with thousands upon thousands, if not millions, of subscribers. And America only has what, two hundred fifty million people living in it. And the U.S. Mil the US military is just over a million? Two million, maybe? I mean, yes, there are, yes, there are the state National Guard and the state... And they're, they're the state... There are the state... There are the National Guard and state guards, which is a fancy term for state army. Um, there are police departments and all that. Good Samaritans. Which, these insurrectionists... Love the term militia. They love the term hitmen. And apparently they were not raised correctly because if they were, they would realize the National Guard is the militia and the men and men. It's really a, the, their successor organization. Like the U.S. Army is the, six, is the successor organization of the Colonial Army. Like that's how it works. That is. Now there's the militia in the United States that isn't the National Guard. It's a state guard, but that's not militia. It's a state guard. It's really the standing professional army of a state. You can band together with your friends, go train in the woods, sure. But that doesn't make you a militia. That makes you a prepared citizen or an armed citizen. Or a Samaritan. Or a prepper or a terrorist or whatever. So yeah, it's it's really upsetting. Like the US had something really good happening there for a while after World War II. And now people want to go back to Anarchy. And they'll go back to Monkey. I, I don't know, even Monkeys are more civilized than these guys. 
monkeys understand society better than these guys, these anarchists. I mean, literally, they live in tribes and whatnot. They have, like, little groups and they go war with each other and everything. And, yeah, it just really upsets me. And, however, there is, see, there is something else. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, as there always is, that if everything goes well, even if, even if, let's say, half of the population rises up in an insurrection, which I, I, that's not happening, but, I mean, if that's been sure the people I see on the street are not that. And when you look at these dozens of videos, it's only dozens of videos, like a couple million people who aren't necessarily American. And there are whispers that I've been hearing on the internet that Things will turn around. They will lose because they're freaking idiots. Now, it's just going to take effort from us and our family to do the right thing and lead by example. I know that's lofty. But I also know that you guys, you guys and gals are, anyone that anyone that anything else, are able to do it. And honestly, that's by far the greatest achievement of this channel is inspiring people who watch it to be better and do good things. And I'm proud of that. And I'm thankful that people do give me this live form and put up with me when I do stupid stuff. But it's just not easy, as you're well aware. And to be honest, I've been, you know, mentally preparing for this all my life. I mean, yes, I've always been a Superman-like figure. To my friends and family, or just my family, because that's what it is at this point. I've always uplifted people, made them better. Better than me, even. Although they would never say that to my face, and they probably don't believe it at all. And that's something which I need to reconcile with, which I never really have. That at 29 years old, as a disabled man, who just thinks all day or sleeps all day, and sometimes those are one and the same, and plays video games and one, and just misses around, and I'm a hero. And I'm de and and. I say that because, not because anyone has always, anyone has ever called me, not, not because anyone has ever called me a hero, 
Not because I had this inflated ego, but because I've seen that I've seen that in people's eyes. And you know, I never really see what I see when someone says I made them better. I, I never really see that elsewhere. And I try, and I did encapsulate that in my fiction, in their in their, verse, in their story. Because it's important for me to share, because that's a very important part of my existence is I don't even know what to call it. I guess is when people say and look at you in every single way that isn't saying that you're their hero. Because I've heard every single, I, I've heard people say every single word but that. And I'm thankful for that. And I need to remember that. I set out in making this channel 15 years ago or so with the goal to help people in whatever way I can. I have done that. I have helped thousands, maybe even millions of people. And yet I don't believe it. It could be from my ADD autism, my schizophrenia, my CPTSD. But I just don't believe it, and I should. Lucy, my girlfriend, has that same look, except it's all the time with her. And... She encourages me and tries to get me to remember that. To remember I'm a hero. So yeah. I still don't know what I'm going to title this video, by the way. I probably have to look at, I can't even look at, um, MS Copilot's, uh, summary of this. But I think this is a good place to wrap it up. I, I, I want to say other things, but I think this is a good place to wrap it up. And I guess one last word. I guess one last word. I forgot what I was going to say. There's a lot of injustice and evil in this world. Well, that just means it gives you an opportunity to be the best person you can possibly be. Yeah, I believe that's the title. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm going to save what I want to say. Well, I also wanted to say for another video. Well, not right now. I got to go sleep. But. I just wanted. I just wanted. I just wanted to check in with you. 
and let and let you know that I'm I'm fine and that everything will work out all right if we just keep working at it. We will win. It's just the amount. It's just how we win is the story. And that's the funny thing that evil that that's the funny thing about evil. Evil never consider evil never will win because they believe that the end justifies the means. And their ends are just so out there, so uncoordinated. That it'll never that whatever the means are, they will never get to that end. If they do get to that end, it's not going to be for long, in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this video. Right now, I gotta do my thing. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate watching this video. You know, we'll also be watching each other's stuff in the description below. Thank you for your space push channel, watch your space free push channel, watching these videos and get your contact for this episode and your friends that missed it. I got this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I really appreciate watching these videos and. And again, everything will be okay. Because we believe in each other and they don't believe in anything. All right, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess, see you in a second.